myself up because I have a list of things to do that I need to get done today that who really wants to get them done, you know? I actually need to go upstairs, tidy upstairs, and restock the fridge because we have a working fridge up there for the first time since we moved here. Well, it's not too exciting. All we do is stock it with waters, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, of when we have movie nights, we don't have to walk all the way downstairs to get a water. And then I got some actual like movie snacks for upstairs out with the super healthy snacks for the concession stand upstairs. I'm gonna stock it full of crap, full of all the crap that I wanna eat during a movie, M&Ms. Mm, I don't know what else. I bought, really, a box of candy. I'm sure I'll probably throw some healthy stuff in there too, if I have any. And then, oh, there's a fridge up there. I could put some fruit up there. Who wants to eat fruit during a movie? Let's be real. Popcorn? <gasps> oh, wait, we have the popcorn maker. Okay, anyway, what else are we doing? I need to tidy up up there and then restock the fridge down here too because, hello? Swear I just heard someone. Speaking of hearing someone, I don't think anyone extra is here today working on the addition. Maybe I'll bring you out there and show you the progress that has been made because why wait? Why wait? Do a crazy dance. It's not why wait, it's why not. Hilary Duff had so many bops. People say I can't sing, I'm just saying. Why not? Why not? Do a I need to look it up. You might lose a lot, why not? Take a crazy chance. Where's my mosh pit? There's your music break for the day. Turn on Why Not by Hilary Duff. That's a jam. And now I'm out of breath. I also need to finish up my party planning today. Oh my gosh. Wolfgang's birthday is coming up, his first birthday. Is it today? When I'm posting the. Today, but don't wish him a happy birthday yet because I'm going to film a birthday video. Oh my heck, I can't believe. Where the heck does the time go? Ugh, one year, oh my gosh. What a heck of a year it's been. There's a mess behind me. I tried to make something fancy last night and uh, last night, this morning, <laughs> it feels like last night. Oh my gosh. The days are long, but the years are short, right? That's what they say. I was making some waffles this morning, tried to make some fit, like, oh, festive ghosts and goblins and skeletons and pumpkins. The kids loved them. They thought it was fun. I would love to say it was minimal effort, maximum results, but really what had happened was, <laughs> I was trying to make a reel, so I was like trying to make them perfect, which is impossible. What is perfect? something I've never been able to obtain. So I did my best and I think they came out pretty cute. I love the googly eyes on them too. They weren't googly eyes, they're sugar eyes. I digress. I need to finish up my party planning because oh my gosh, how did this turn into a party? People told me, oh, you just do it big. You're gonna regret it if you don't. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> I very, very much would probably regret it if I didn't have the big birthday party for him. We went to Disney, which I thought would be like his birthday. He doesn't care. He's so young, he can bear. I mean, really, he does care. He does, he did enjoy the rides and stuff, the ones he could go on, but we couldn't even find him a birthday pin. I was like, oh, we can't do this. This can't be his birthday. So I'm glad that we did plan a party. It won't be a big party. It'll just be like, you know, he doesn't have friends. He doesn't have friends. All right, so I've got to do that first and then I'll restock and clean and all the motherhood things. If you lose a moment, you might lose a lot. It's a real toe tapper. I'm gonna have that in my head for the rest of the week. I do have to wash linens again because, and when I say linens, I mean, I should be washing my bed sheets. It's been way too long, but every time I think about washing them, I'm like, Ugh, maybe next time. <laughs> but I am gonna throw a load in, and by the end of this video, I'll probably have a mountain of laundry to do. I got my blue land. <laughs> Tablets. Woo! Jordan. All right, let's see how much we can get done in 38 minutes. Ugh. All right, so I started making a list of stuff that I need to prepare for Wolfgang's party. I'm quickly realizing I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. I thought I ordered almost everything I needed off of Amazon for his birthday party, but no, I was mistaken. So I started off by making a list of like, 
what will encompass his party. And I do this for all the kids. So I go through and I have like a backdrop, food, cake, favors, craft slash fun, extras over here, drinks, and then like on his I put guest book at their first birthday party I always like to make something so I think one of the kids had an art party it might not have even been their first birthday but one of the kids had an art party and I got a large canvas so all of the guests could put a handprint on it and then write their name and that's a piece of art that we've had forever so that's fun oh Meredith's you guys may have seen that one I had a canvas again I drew a beehive on it and everyone put their fingerprint and then their name under it and we made some of the fingerprints into bees and some of them we just left fingerprints but that one was really cute so for Wolfgang's oh and then someone else's birthday oh Eleanor's hers was turkey themed her first birthday fell on Thanksgiving so that was really fun and for hers I did like advice for Eleanor I don't remember exactly how I worded it but all of their that advice is in a mason jar just waiting until I think she graduates she can it's like a time capsule kind of thing so that's really cute I like to just do something like that so for Wolfgang's party sadly not a wolf party but we have a few more years to try to convince Alex about it okay so this year it's like fall themed and then kind of fell into my little pumpkin theme because that's uh, it's cute, right? And my gosh, when I was doing it, so I had all this fall stuff planned. I was going through Pinterest trying to narrow everything down. Okay, so here's everything. I was trying to narrow everything down and make sure I had everything like good to go, organized and all that good stuff. And um, I started seeing my little pumpkin stuff and I was like, oh, that's really cute. Uh, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. It makes sense. It's a fall theme. Let's roll with it. And then it hit me like a ton of rocks. Kind of bittersweet mostly sad so it, it's kind of like full circle okay short story long my first party i put on technically it was before i had kids it was my first baby shower the theme was my little pumpkin or our little pumpkin or something along those lines and i feel like this is a real full circle moment because his first birthday party our last child he his theme will be like my little pumpkin theme and i was like oh i don't know how i feel about this he's growing up so fast but also not fast enough oh my gosh because the days are real long <laughs> so i'll give you a glimpse into what's happening i still need to print out some scavenger hunts need to make sure i have everything to make play-doh we're doing a chili bar i'm gonna set up i need to buy some hay from a local a uh, place that sells a bunch of hay. The cake, I think I landed on this one, but then I also bought the cake topper that kind of looks like this, and I thought that was cute for a smash cake. And then I'm gonna do cupcakes, and oh, of course we gotta have the apple juice. I don't do apple cider, but apple juice, I think the kids will dig it. I was able to find those apple juices. Those look like glass to me. I don't know, but I was able to find them at Costco. I didn't even know they sold them at Costco, mostly because I don't buy juice and I don't really stroll down that aisle. Hold on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> so for favors, since no one gives a crap and there will be hardly any kids here, I thought, well, I don't really do favors. One, because uh, I just, uh. For me, it started like out as practical and like, oh, a cutesy little toy. And then it ended up becoming this like goodie bag full of $20 worth of garbage that I'm just sending home with the kids. And I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I stopped goodie bags years and years ago. But I like to have a little something takeaway for them. The arts and craft will be paint a pumpkin. Oh, I didn't even say the guest book for his party will be, I got a pumpkin book and it's actually really cute. And so the guests will just sign their name. We'll have the book forever. I think that's cute. And then the crafting slash fun will be painting a pumpkin, fall scavenger hunt, cinnamon, play-doh, and then pumpkin ring toss. I'm just going to buy a pump bunch of pumpkins and whatever, I mean, we'll repurpose them, whatever they don't paint. Uh, will be out for like Thanksgiving because we're hosting Thanksgiving too and I feel like for the backdrop we will just throw a ton of pumpkins over there you know and then whatever's left we'll make pumpkin pie out of my dad always makes homemade pumpkin pie and by homemade I mean no store-bought canned pumpkin 
absolutely unacceptable. Even though I use it, I don't know, maybe I'll go above and beyond uh, because I have so much extra time in my life. Chili bar, this is the food. Jalapeno popper cheese ball, oh, wow. Acorn donut holes, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Apples, pumpkin pie bites, waste of time, but it's for a birthday party, so why not? Why not? Oh, tic-tac-toe game. I have a, I just happen to have a pumpkin tic-tac-toe game. And right, for the favors, I think the only thing I didn't explain, I was gonna do an apple cider bar, but then I was like, Kim, reel it in. Who are you? Do you think you have all this time in the world to like put, do everything? You gotta narrow it down sometimes. So the favors, I found um, a cranberry apple cider mix. And I was like, that's really cute. Except for I don't like apple cider, so pass on that. And then I found apple butter because another fall theme is like apple of my eye. Am I talking too much about this birthday party? I'm almost over it. Apple butter, but I don't like apple butter. But then I found this jam with strawberries and pomegranates. And I was like, that is perfect. So I'm gonna throw that together, put it in a little mason jar. Speaking of mason jars, I started buying them yesterday. Oh my gosh. And then I got off on a little like tangent where I started putting everything in my Amazon cart. Let's see what I ended up putting in there. Oh, okay, I did. Mason jars, I got the cake topper, I got the book, I got birthday party gifts for other people, food coloring for the pumpkins. Even though I was trying to find the perfect orange color, I'll explain it in my video. You don't even, okay, that's fine. And then I needed like cake decorating stuff because I'm out of cake bags, the piping bags. And then I remembered something I wanted to do for a long time. I'm gonna see if it's in yet. Amazon, is that you? No, nothing, nothing is here yet. Uh, some of the stuff did come in, but some of the stuff I'm still waiting on. Did you feel that as I opened the door? I wasn't pushed back in my house by all of the heat and humidity. Is it finally fall here? It is a cool 89 degrees here in Tampa Bay. Maybe you'll like the change of scenery while I talk about this, but while I was stacking up my Amazon cart, there's something that I've been, I wanted to do it last year. I may have even wanted to do it the year before. So it is long on my list of things that I would like to do in my brain. You know, that ongoing list of like, hmm, one days. So I ended up doing it. I just jumped the gun and I was like, Kim, now's as a good a time as any. The baby was napping on me. I was like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. What am I gonna do? Well, I'll do it with you so you'll find out eventually. I'm just kidding. It's um, homemade vanilla, homemade vanilla extract. That's it, which you might be thinking, ugh, no big deal, whatever. Um, it is a big deal for me because I don't do that kind of stuff often. And I think it'll be a really sweet gift. Teacher gifts, neighbor gifts, gifts where you don't know what to give someone something, you can just give them some vanilla. But if you need an extra buffer, it could be the vanilla and a gift card or something. It just, people like, takeaway and then every time they bake or something they'll think of you because on the bottle I found these labels they were amazing so um, whenever that stuff comes in we'll do that together I'm just really pumped about it because I've been wanting to do it for so long and I finally I was like I'm gonna do it because when you look at the cart you're like oh my gosh the vanilla beans are 30 bucks 30 bucks but you get 50 of them but you need to add five to each bottle I'm gonna add four <laughs> I haven't done the math yet I think I got 21 bottles 21 bottles of beer on the wall. Anyone remember singing that song as a child? We were at, I don't know, Disney or someplace. I was with the kids, Costco, I don't know where we were, but I started singing that song and I was like, that is so inappropriate. Why was that a childhood song growing up? Such as my childhood, no one talks about it anymore. Probably for the better. Now I don't know what I was talking about. Let's go upstairs and actually do something. Take one down, pass it around. 21 bottles of root beer on the wall. Like, you see what I did there? Keeping it kid friendly. All right, so I got these snacks to go upstairs. I have to gather all the stuff that I bought to go in our concession stand, but I don't really remember what. Oh my gosh, what a cutesy! I put all, I've been collecting holiday stuff. Good thing we have a month until Halloween because I'm gonna pump out some really cute things for Halloween. My kids are gonna be like, my mother is Martha Stewart. <gasps> Did someone get into this already? Oh my gosh, the rats. The rats. Oh, <laughs> little punks, I tell you, little punks. I'm getting text, hold on. All right, I got this, I got this, I got, these are good. Oh, these? Also these, and this, these are pretty good. Is that all I got? No, more over here. It's Junk Food Central in the Wadsworth household. Woo -hoo, pew, 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 pew. These 
these granola bars up there. These are so good and they are not getting the attention they deserve in, from my pantry. So I'm gonna put them up in the movie room and when all the kids come over, they're gonna see these and they're gonna be like, oh, what's that? They're gonna eat them. And not only are they gonna get a nice granola bar, they're also gonna get a little shot of protein right before they get their shot of sugar. All right, let's bring all this crap upstairs. Do you ever just cry when you see that a light's been on? And you wonder, hmm, how long has that light been on? And it makes total sense why my electricity bill is through the roof. Oh gosh, what do they call that? Tennis elbow or something? I think I got it. That hurts. All right, well, these are our concession drawers. This is all the food that I brought up to fill it. Is this even on? Oh, nice and icy. I actually don't know if it's on. <laughs> it feels cold, but how do I know for sure? I'm gonna have to ask Alex that's a tongue twister, if he unplugged it. Because he said, we had a repair guy come out, he fixed the fridge up here and he's working on our ice machine. That hasn't worked since we moved in. And so we thought, oh, wouldn't that be fun to do? So we had it fixed because buying a new one, oh my gosh, no thank you. And so he plugged it in after the repair guy has left and it was like making this loud buzzing noise. And we're like, oh, I don't know. So the constant humming was not for him. He uh, I, he may have unplugged it. I don't know. I told him to plug it in because I was going to put... It feels cold, but I don't know if it's like residual cool from before or what. I do need to grab some waters, but all of this stuff on the counter is stuff that I was storing in the fridge. <laughs> it's a nice little extra storage spot. What is this? Uh, looks like something else is broken. Huh? Anyway, I have to figure out a spot where to put all of this. They're crafting supplies and goodness. And I'll just do a general tidy up up here. I have been meaning to bring some dish soap and sponges and I gotta wash those cloths too. Just a general tidy up and getting my life together up here and all that good stuff. Oh wow, that's a workout and a half. I don't even know if they'll fit in here. I guess it's adjustable. I don't know what to do first, I'm overwhelmed. But I have two hands and that is a plus. When I tell you I'm out of shape, I'm not being dramatic. Now that Wolfgang is older, I think he might be able to tolerate the gym. So I'm gonna try to go back. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try real hard. Oh, I forgot something else, I'll be right back. All right, I think I gathered all of my supplies here. Let's get it started. We got a lot to do. Can I tell you that this felt so good to finally do? Wait, what was that noise? Oh, my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Anyway, I was pumped to do this. I When I do stuff like this, it makes me feel like I have my life together. And it's just always nice to do stuff with two hands when I can. You know what I mean? Because normally I'm holding a baby. And I feel like bittersweet, that season of my life. I You know, I just talked about Wolfgang's birthday party. But he's getting older. Oh, what? I can't even believe I guess that's that's how time goes, right? But it's always a good day when you wake up and you have the day, you know? Okay, so a lot of stuff I needed to take care of on this little corner of the upstairs. And I swear, every time I come up here, I just think, was this an afterthought when, when they were building? Was this on purpose, the way that this is set up? I don't know. I just can think of a hundred other different ways to configure the space up here. And, uh, well, it's fine. It works and it's space and the kids actually love the open space. They have room to jump around and do cartwheels and all that good stuff. So I don't know, pros and cons to everything. You can find pros and cons to everything. So anyway, moving stuff around, finally putting some things where it belongs. And the best part about this is that I was watching Gilmore Girls. Yeah, mostly in the background. Obviously, I'm not like sitting down and watching it, but you people, have you seen Gilmore Girls? Question number one. Question number two, who are you team on? Whose team are you on? <laughs> Let's rephrase the question. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dean. I'm talking about Jess. I'm talking about Logan. Now, I'm in the series. I watched the series many, 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 many years ago. So I just remember not liking Jess, not really caring about Dean, and Logan was my fave. I was super young, so I thought, okay, let me go into this, watching it again with an open mind. I'm not one of those people who watches Gilmore Girls every fall season, but this season I thought, you know what? I need something in my life, okay? I need something to keep me going. So I turned it on. I'm loving it, actually. And so I am 
past the Jess part, kind of past it, mostly past it, I think. I don't know. I can't really remember. And I will say a caveat to that is that I did watch the reboot, the like four episode, four thing reboot that they had a few years back. So now that you know that, I'm still Team Logan. (laughs) Oh, did I even tell you? I'm Team Logan. Whose team are you on? And if you are in Jess's team, how dare you? I can't even understand how anyone would be team Jess. Maybe he like comes back and makes himself better. I don't know you people. I can't understand it. I'm like, how is it? He's so toxic. I can't even understand it. And it's funny how obviously when I watched it when I was super young, I related more to Rory and I actually never really loved her that much anyway, but I related more toward Lorelai now And obviously, because I'm the mom, but still some of the stuff that she does, obviously, it's part of her character arc um, of having a baby young and not really getting to experience her childhood and stuff. But sometimes she acts like a child and I'm like, yeah, me too. That's fine. (laughs) You got to live your life sometimes and be fun and funky. Love her. So I'm really enjoying that. Are you enjoying any other show? I feel like I need to watch something else, but I need to finish this one first. But I'm kind of dreading it ending. You know how when you watch something for so long and then it ends and you just think, well, what am I going to do with my life now? Actually, the new Bachelor, how has this turned into like, what's on TV? What are you watching? I haven't watched it, but I'm really excited about The Golden Bachelor is what I'm talking about. Mm, Can't wait to watch that. I haven't watched The Bachelor in a while, mostly because time constraints and who has the time to do anything. Alex and I tried to sit down last night and watch the Kelsey documentary. Also, (laughs) ran out of time for that. The baby woke up and I was like, well, this was fun. Literally 10 seconds in. So, you know, it's just a season of our life and we're super busy, but that season won't always be around and that's okay. And I'm thinking holidays already oh my gosh okay so anyway I'm restocking this concession upstairs and it might be my favorite that I've done so far I've got cookies I've got snacks I got crackers I got all the junk food up here and that two gram that Reese's down there in the corner it's not a Reese's it's like a slim dipped whatever the heck but it's two grams of sugar and maybe one gram fantastic compared to like the 20 grams in a normal Reese's Ooh, love it tastes great Some people think it tastes great. It tastes good enough to have two grams of sugar. You know what I mean? So anyway, here's a quick before. Here's a quick after. And I stocked the fridges. And I will report the fridge was unplugged (laughs) and pushed back in. Alex said it's too loud. So I guess the repair guys, they are coming back because they needed to order a part for our ice machine. And so when they come back, we're going to, I guess, have them look at the fridge again. I I really don't want to replace it. And the fridge is kind of unnecessary. Like we don't need drinks up here. It's convenient. It's nice. Oh, look at that. As I'm talking about it, it's nice to have water up here. But anyway, the long term of, of this room, I'm just unsure of how it will look in the future when the kids are grown, don't need so many toys. Obviously, this is farther in the future but maybe put a couch there and then where that kitchen is a little tv or something they can play video games they can I mean it's so close to the wall though I don't know it's all so funky and fresh but um we were talking about game consoles the other day because Avelina was at her friend's house and they were playing what's that game Mario Kart oh my gosh one of the best games ever invented and she was talking about it I was like oh yeah like we have a Wii why don't we bust it out more often if we had a spot for it I think it would be more convenient to just always have it there. So I don't know. I guess we can do that in the the room where we watch movies and stuff. But it's so dark in there. Oh, it's always so dark in there. <laughs> Even with the lights on. I don't know. There's just something about natural light and having a window that I really enjoy. But that room is without that kind of stuff. So I don't gravitate toward that room a lot. Anyway. So just tidying up the toys and the random mess and it needed such a good vacuum up here. Oh, heavens to Betsy, because I can't remember the last time I vacuumed up here because the vacuum was broken. And then I, I don't know. I just I don't make it up here a lot. I mean, I do and play around, but I'm not up here for an extended length of time, <laughs> except for when I'm cleaning. So anyway, I brought the vacuum up and The rug in here, some people ask me where I got it from. I got it from Wayfair. I think Wayfair, maybe Overstock. Those two places are basically the same in my brain. And speaking of, I'm actually on the site right now looking for a better outdoor seating, uh, what do they call that, sectional, like an outdoor seating spot, because the one that we have, 
I didn't like it from the moment we got it. Obviously, it works. Oh, my gosh. And then up here, this is another reason why I think it was an afterthought. They were like, oh, let's pick the worst carpet <laughs> to put up here. I was just vacuuming, and it sucked up a whole row of car. I don't even know. So I cut it. It's fine. But is it fine? The carpet's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. I, I halfway think whenever the kids are near the banister, I'm like, how sturdy is this thing? Is it just going to fall apart? I don't know. And then when I walk, sometimes the floor is like, I don't, it just doesn't, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. But anyway, no one's fallen yet. So that's good news. Okay. What was I saying? Wayfair, that's where I got the rug. And then I'm also looking for an outdoor sectional because the one that I got, oh my gosh, I literally spent an arm and a leg on, but don't love it. It looks a lot nicer up here than it did when I first came up here. <laughs> Anything I do is better than doing nothing. So I'm happy that the movie snacks are all stocked and ready to go. We have waters in there, which I'm still unsure. I guess we'll figure out if it's cold or not. I, I think it got unplugged. I don't know. You guys don't ask me questions. I don't know. Eventually I'll plug it in. Maybe I'll add some seltzers in there. And hey, um, I'm not cleaning up this room. <laughs> I'll leave it for the kids. Wolfgang uh, is working on his uh, musical stylings. And so we brought the keyboard down to the floor. So that's on purpose. He's really channeling Mozart there. But I don't think I told you, or I might have told you in my Costco haul, but I ended up going back to get the, oh gosh, the pillow fort or whatever the heck it's called from Costco. The set that they have. Apparently that set on their website, it's not even on their website or if it is, it was more, it costs more. I don't know, but I was looking around on Amazon and they had a, uh, a set, but it didn't include everything that the one at Costco did. So I was like, okay, scream and deal. I'm going to go. And they just, I mean, this is what they love to do. Wolfgang loves it too. It's part of like them building muscle and challenging their muscles in a different way. They like crawling. They like climbing. They like doing all that stuff. So I don't want, I like, I want to encourage them to do it. I just don't want them to do it with my couch cushions. <laughs> but I figured this room has always been like the bane. I don't know what to do with it. Like we put movie posters up. Ooh, wow. And that's, uh, we got a couch, the couch we love got from Costco, ironically. These side tables, I need to replace them. I just haven't found something cutesy yet. Over here, it's such an odd, like there's a stage here but this is where we like project the movie and the tables are a perfect fit, but we don't need the tables slash use the tables. We use it as like storage, which isn't the best thing because then it just collects clutter. We have a closet up here. I should probably put, <gasps> I should probably put shelves in the closet. There are a couple shelves in there and they it just, we shove the blankets in there. Anyway, I thought just the pillow stuff, the fort building stuff that I got them, we can just shove right there. But I'm looking for like, not a cabinet and not a trunk or something. I don't know. I'm looking for a storage solution that doesn't look horrible. I don't know. Gotta turn these lights off. They've been on all night. Lionel Richie style. Hey, wanna see something real gross? I emptied this before I cleaned up here. So all of this is just from the upstairs. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it's pretty gross. Oh, it feels clean up here. I don't wanna leave but I will leave because I'm gonna bring you into the addition, show you what's going on. I feel like I'm sweating just from cleaning up there. It's a little ridiculous. They were here, the some drywaller people were here <laughs> yesterday working on the drywall in the kids' closets. Can I get a hallelujah? So after months and months of them going closetless, you're never gonna guess. I guess you could guess. They have a closet, kind of, not really. It's in progress. <laughs> Just like everything else, look at that beautiful wall. Wow. So we're gonna have double doors here. And if you watch, I don't know, I feel like a couple weeks ago I explained we're gonna do built-ins in here, but I'm still unsure of how I want them to look exactly. But the, the wall is looking mighty fine. And over here in Wentworth's closet, a little sad, I know you guys, a little sad. He, so th he used to have a walk-in closet and this was just the best solution to make it two separate closets. And so the other room didn't lose three and a half feet building one out. And you know, this, I mean, it's not the smallest closet I've ever seen. It's not the biggest, but it'll do. And we're gonna have built-ins in here too and a secret door, secret passageway door. So that'll be fun. And now that I'm 
walking, I'm like, wow, who else had fun here today? See all that glitter on the ground? That's gonna be fun to vacuum up. Oh, and look, there's a trail. A little child got into this. So let's take a little field trip, field trip, past the glitter into Narnia. Woo! This is the clearest I've seen this room. <gasps> Can you believe this used to be a closet and now it will kind of transform into a hallway? This is a load-bearing wall. We've seen it before. It's brought up a lot of tension, okay? And we're still trying to figure out a solution. So I don't, I really just... But I will bring you out here to show you the progress that they've made in the bathroom. It's hard to believe that this will soon be part of our house. Oh! Do you see this? Oh, the angels, hallelujah. Amazingness, amazing. Yes, do, how do you like it? How do you, oh, please do not run water. Thank you, plumber. <laughs> okay. So we have a vanity. We have a vanity. Isn't she a beauty? Knobs and pulls are still needing to go on and I'll show you what the cabinet, not the cabinet, the countertop color I picked out, I thought it was just darling. I thought it was gray, just a little, little flecks of blue in there, match real nice. And the color on this cabinetry, I don't know, I really liked it. Avelina, not her favorite, and I was like, well, it's my house, so uh, that's cool. <laughs> three drawers in the middle, and then two cabinets on either side, and then three drawers on either side of that. It's huge, lots of storage space, which is fantastic. And then the sinks, I, this is what I finally uh, narrowed in on. It took me a while. I had this color at first. This is the shower, or the this is the tub that obviously we don't have a tub in here, but this, could you imagine if it was that color? I don't know, the contrast, I think it could have worked. It would have worked, it would have been totally fine. But uh, I like to overthink things. And then in the shower, that's what that looks like. And then the handle over here. Ooh, wow. Oh my gosh, did I even show you the tile in here? It's the same as my as our like main bathroom tile. It's really echoey, so I'm trying to be quiet. And then the little itty bitty little niche box over here. <laughs> she's cute, but she's itty bitty. And I don't think, I don't think I showed you the floor tile. Look at her, oh wow. What do we think, what do you think? I haven't showed you any of this stuff. The toilet's in, I've never been so excited about a toilet in my whole life. And then the shower tile. I know you can't really, really see. We're waiting on shelves. It's really echoey, so I'm trying not to like be excited and scream. I'm trying to give you a good peek on what the tile actually looks like. It's not all white. It actually has a lot of gray in it. And I overthought that a lot as well. I overthink everything. I'm also wondering what kind of wallpaper should I put here or none? I don't know, I really wanna put wallpaper up, but I don't know. I want it to be an accent, I want it to be fun, but also cute and spunky and I don't know, you guys, I think I overthink everything. <gasps> the fans, oh, they aren't in yet, but I see the boxes. So I also got the light fixtures in and all that good stuff. It's not in yet, and I know I told you, or at least I think I told you, I'll show it to you when it's all finished, but I just couldn't wait. Isn't that exciting? Exciting stuff is happening, little by little. <laughs> Eventually, it'll all be finished, but uh, we're not holding our breath. They did give us a new date, and I don't know if I ever shared that with you, but we kind of asked them, like, I don't know if it was a joke or not, but he said, oh, around Thanksgiving, or he may have even said before Thanksgiving. I don't remember because, honestly, I'm not gonna hold him to it. I don't even believe him <laughs> at this point. Like, my trust has been broken. They initially told us it would be done before Wolfgang was born. It's obviously been a year and you know what it'll get done when it gets done i'm just happy whenever they make progress Ooh! i'm gonna switch the laundry over i do find myself dreaming like ooh, one day we're gonna have a closet to put all the board games in and like when i was upstairs tidying up i thought oh, all these board games i'm just like shoving them in you know we're gonna have a closet for that and man won't that be nice? And the kids are excited just even to have their closets back. They're like, oh my gosh, it's the little things in life. And I will have an office. Oh my gosh, I've never. Okay, this is the first time I put shoes in the the washer. Oh, and they still, they're not great. All right, I'll let those dry. I'll throw in another load. So while I was cleaning upstairs, I noticed that someone was at the front door. And this is exactly what I was waiting for. These are the mirrors 
for the bathrooms. Not that you could tell what they look like inside the box, but I'm excited about it. And then everything else should be for. I've been collecting, some would say hoarding, a bunch of stuff down here for his birthday party slash Thanksgiving. And then you can't see it. But I still have to unpack from the trip that we took. <laughs> it's a problem. Something's wrong with me. I should open these puppies up. This one's really light. I thought maybe it was the jars, but I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. Sometimes when I'm really lazy, tell me I'm not the only one who does this, I just look on the app and see what was delivered. <laughs> and if it's something I don't need right away, I'm like, oh, whatever. Oh, the vanilla beans came in, the pack of 50. Oh, and the ribbon. All right, hey man, no time like the present to uh, think about Christmas gifts. This piece of crap was $5. I feel like I'm ahead of the game. I've already started Christmas shopping for the kids and for everyone else. I'm excited about it. What? Oh, piping bag. This is, oh, I need those. Oh, okay, this is a, you guys, for myself, I would never, but as a gift, I would every time. If someone wants it, I'm like, okay, well, all right. But it does depend on how good of friends they are. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool. Whenever I have gifts ready to go, I feel like I have my life together. But you know what I like to do? Keep um, a few gift cards on hand. That way, when I'm like, oh my gosh, you have a birthday party today? With four kids getting invited to birthday parties, it's like almost every weekend. Some, I mean, obviously some weekends there are multiple and we have to pick and choose. And it's a whole thing, birthday parties, am I right? Am I right? So many birthday parties, especially for us. I'm not sure if technically Wolfgang's birthday kicks off birthday party season because there is a whole month before we have another one. November 14th, it's his September 30th, November 14th, and then November 27th, December 10th, December 27th. And then our wedding anniversary is somewhere in between there. And then we have obviously all of the holidays. I was trying to explain to Alex last year, most people are overwhelmed with just Thanksgiving and Christmas. That is it, okay? Most people are overwhelmed just by having those two holidays. And then obviously all the events and all the activities that go in between. But add on to that four birthdays slash birthday parties. And then also trying to make everything special. And you know what? Some I heard someone say the other day, maybe I read it. I don't know. Maybe it was an Instagram reel. It doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to get across is I heard that um, your children's childhood is in your hands. Like you are responsible for their childhood, that they're growing up, they're experiencing, they're going to have memories about when they're old. Like that's in your hands right now. What are you going to do with it? Some people don't care. <laughs> That's okay. But I, I don't know. I go, I feel like I go above and beyond for my kids and try to make things magical. And it's not just for them. It's for like us to, it's to experience things as a family. It's to have fun and do fun things. So it's not just, you know what I mean? So yes, sometimes I go above and beyond, but that's just how I am. If I'm going to do something, I do it. <laughs> like I, that's just how I am. So even Wolfgang's party, I'm like, I don't know how many people are going to show up Two, And I'm doing like all this stuff. Is it necessary? I don't know. And watch, there's probably like 20 people who are going to show up. But anyway, 20 versus the amount of things that I'm doing. I'm putting on a whole dang festival. It's so unnecessary. But in my mind, I just, the snowball effect is real where I think, oh, I'm going to do this. Well, then I might as well do that. And if I'm doing that, then I might as well add on <laughs> this to it too. In the end, it's always a good time. It's always fun. But sometimes I do get a little stressful, especially if I have a newborn hanging on me. And that's what happened last year. I kind of um, had a few mental breakdowns last year. And by a few, I'm um, being nice about it. Okay. Maybe every day, <laughs> every day, I have marked out. but it was all worth it. If you ask my kids, they had a great time. I had a great time too. It's just, you know, getting through it. I think it's a mindset of just trying to compartmentalize. Anyway, that's my room. Oh my gosh. It was so gross. I needed to clean it. I'm so sorry that you had to see that, but I had to live in it. Happy. I got that done. 
Well, I'm glad that's over with. I still have my kitchen to tidy up and uh, I need to make dinner. So I figured I would throw some dinner together and then while that's cooking, I'll just tidy the kitchen up. So I'm thinking about dinner. I'm gonna make, I don't know what it's called. It's just ground beef with like ginger paste and garlic and soy sauce. I use cocoa aminos and I, salt and pepper. I Okay, here's the catalyst. I have rice in the fridge, need to use up. I'll serve it with rice. I also have some green onions that I had on my windowsill, but Wolfgang got a hold of it and I just, I need to use them up. So I like to sprinkle it with green onions. And then for a veggie, I think we have some leftover green beans from last night. So boom, I got a meal in a matter of literally 15 minutes. And I have this leftover salad. Ooh, I made way too much last night. I made a double portion. So it's perfect. What I had no idea was that I was just meal prepping for tonight. I have cucumber in here, bell pepper, celery, which gives it such a nice crunch. Oh, and I forgot to put these in there last night and they were sitting out all night. It's just red onion. I love the flavor of red onion. My kids don't, so I put it on, off to the side, but then I forgot about it. I need to eat more veggies. Mom, should I eat one of these? Sure. I'm gonna eat all of them. Okay. I also just realized I'm really thirsty, so I'll give you a before shot of my kitchen. It, <laughs> it definitely needs some of my attention, okay? Yes, it did, except for I forgot to film myself cleaning most of it. <laughs> I was like, I looked at the camera, I just peeked at it, it's off. And I thought, oh, is my battery dead? Is the memory card full? Neither one of those things were the case. So only, oh my gosh, is that Meredith literally downing the goldfish? Wow, good for her. Um, I bought those for our trip that we took. And I just wanted, she always asks for goldfish and I never buy them. Sometimes I get the Annie's bunnies, but anyway, so that was her little treat and they were finally gone. They were finally empty. So <laughs> I'm happy to have that out of my life. Um, I mean, we eat plenty of junk around here anyway. I don't know what it is about goldfish. Maybe it's the smell of them or something. It, the salt, I mean, it tastes real good. Anyway, have you ever noticed there's no closing to the packaging on goldfish? They just, they know you're going to eat it all in one sitting. Even though the serving size on the back, I'm sure, is like eight. Or in that huge bin, it's probably like 800. <laughs> no, no, it's one, okay? In our hearts, we know it's just one. Anyway, the, the wh where am I? The kitchen needed a nice mother's touch. And sometimes after dinner, well, all the time after dinner, we clean it, we tidy it up. But sometimes it just needs that extra mother's touch, you know? And that's what I'm giving it. And it feels good to have a tidy home. Oh my gosh, it's the most underrated thing. But how do we keep a tidy home? You gotta clean it every day, all all day, all day long it feels like. And that's never clean for very long. But while it is, it sure feels nice. The kitchen's pretty tidy, so it's time for me to mess it up again. I have probably a pound and a half-ish of ground beef. Use ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever. And then I'm going to dice up one onion. While I was out there getting my onion, I realized uh, my outside fridge really needs some of my attention. All right, I'm gonna throw this in and then cook them together. Of course, I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper in here as well, you season every layer. This would be a great make-ahead meal. It's not quite dinner yet, but I wanna, oh gosh, there's way too much salt. I want to um, just prep it. And I'm sure you could prep this at the beginning of the day and then warm it up later that night. It's just a super simple, I mean, literally it's a 15 minute throw together meal if you have the meat thawed out already, which is really half the battle. All right, I'm going to add some garlic to the dish. And I've been using this guy lately. How many cloves? That should be good enough. I don't know, it's, it looks like two pounds of meat, so that's the amount of cloves I'm gonna do. And I just pull it like a lawnmower, and it minces it right up. It's wild and crazy. I've had it for a while. I use it every now and then. Sometimes I just like chippity chopping away. So I'm gonna finish this dish off and by adding the garlic once everything's cooked. Then I add a little bit of ginger paste. It's like that spicy flavor. And then I have some cocoa aminos. I'm gonna need more than that. That was just a couple tablespoons, but I'm using what's left of the bottle. I'll add more when I find another bottle. Hopefully I have one. And then I have brown sugar. Most important part of it. 
Um, I'm gonna add probably, I don't know, however much that was. Oh look, more cocoa aminos. Sesame oil would probably be good here too. I don't know, I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna give it a mix. If I need some more cocoa aminos, I'll add more. And then I just grabbed the good parts that I had left from my green onions. When I tell you they were looking sad, I'm not exaggerating. All right, I'm just gonna give these a nice chop. And then sprinkle it on top. And that's dinner, so quick. I mean, obviously I have green beans and rice that I need to warm up, but here she blows. It's so easy, it's a crowd pleaser, the flavors are great. It's stuff I have in my pantry and fridge like all the time, so that's why we love it. This is another convenience meal, so fantastic. I shared another one in my recent Costco haul. This was so good, I served it with I don't know, rice. And oh, and then I made Brussels sprouts, shaved Brussels sprouts and bacon and onion. So good, delicious even. All right, I've got some, I'm, I need to put this away. Oh, see the cap fell off, oh my heck. I need to put this with the food coloring before I forget and then I throw it in the wash and there's orange everywhere. Okay, back. Alex brought the couple big girls to flying, uh, to a trampoline park last night. So they were rifling through all of the socks, trying to find the trampoline park socks. Please tell me that you also have a bin full of trampoline park socks because uh, they charge you every time for new socks. So I try to keep them in one spot and then whenever we go, I try to remember to bring them. Anyway, so that's why it was all over the floor. Not that you asked or I need to, needed to explain. I have yet to start, did I start that? Oh, I guess I did. Oh my gosh, look at me. Did I start this? I mean, I must have. <laughs> but this is done. I'll transfer this. I'm gonna tackle that. Oh, speaking of Halloween costumes, you guys, uh, I don't know what we're gonna be. I thought we nailed down Barbie. But Abelina is saying that we're basic and everyone's gonna be Barbie. And then I was like, oh no, it'll be fine. And then I went on thread up as I do and they had a little feature. It was like, you know, shop thrifted Halloween costumes. Guess what they were promoting? Barbie. I was like, man, everyone is gonna be Barbie. So then I started going on Pinterest, looking for other things for us to be. And last year before we were hot dogs, we were almost Beauty and the Beast characters, but shipping on some of the stuff just wouldn't have been in on time. And it was, some of the stuff was really expensive and I didn't have time to DIY anything. And so we were hot dogs. So tell me, what are you guys being? Do, does your family dress up together? Do you do a group costume or do you do it alone? Do you do whatever the heck that you guys want? I do make sure, I like to do it as a group, but then I also make sure that if the kids want to be something else, then they're able to do that for their school parade and then if they want to go out with their friends or whatever. So I like to have a good balance. All right, something smells funky. I'm gonna deal with this and then I'll move on with my life. Yes, I will because that's what happens. You just do it and live. But how much can you really live when you always have a mountain of laundry to do? When it's always in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, laundry, laundry, laundry. Anyway, don't let it bother me too much, obviously. Uh, if you, And if you looked at my laundry room right now, you would see another mountain of laundry. That's right. Over here, we're just going through more laundry than we've ever gone through in our entire lives. I can tell you a few reasons why. Working out. That's one outfit. And then when you get home and change, that's outfit number two. And that's just one person. Okay? And then after school activities. Mm. Got to get your leotard on for dance? Okay. Oh, you have cross country? You got to get those filthy and stinky? Okay. And then you have your school clothes. And then if you want to change and put on after school clothes because you want to paint and not get your school clothes dirty, that's outfit number four. And that is just one person. <laughs> it's a lot over here. So it's always going to be laundry. And someday, apparently, I'm going to miss this. Okay. You're going to miss this. You're gonna want this back. That was, what is, who is that, Tim McGraw? If you didn't notice, I sound exactly like him. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, hanging out with me. Hope I kept you company. 
while you were doing whatever it is that you were doing. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.